Hello, hello beautiful Sagittarius and welcome into my channel, The Rare Gazelle. My name is Reem and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Sagittarius or anyone for that matter. Even if you're not a Sagittarius, I do trust that there is something in here for you. Sagittarius, I did your scrying channeled messages on May 28th. As soon as I came back from vacation, I received your messages, but then I fell ill so, um, you know, I, I cannot do readings when I'm sick. It just leaves me very vulnerable and susceptible to energies that um, are not my own, um, twice as much more than the normal. So I, I can't do readings when I'm when I'm sick or feeling, you know, not myself. So I, I apologize that there's there has been some time and thank you so much for your um, your love, your consideration, your compassion, and your, thank you for showing me grace. I really do appreciate it, but we're here always when guided, always in divine, perfect timing to give you a little bit of insight as to how I work. I am a claircognizant, clairaudient, um, clairvoyant. Sorry, I'm getting a vision right now. So I'm just going to take note of it and park it. Um, I also have the capabilities of seeing energy and visualizing energy. So if this is not your vibe, if you just don't resonate, you know, just move on with grace um, and gently, you know, there's so many beautiful readers out there that may be for you. Okay. So before I get into your messages that I scribed for you on May 28th, and I always take a picture of them posted on the community page as well as on my Instagram, the vision that came through was of falling coins, but what was really interesting is I saw the land, I saw the ground that they fell upon. So something is going to land, okay? Something is really going to hit the ground. And I feel like you're going to hit the ground running. And it's interesting because I got a car fanatic and a mechanic. So something is really going to move, okay? Cars to me are also very symbolic of movement, momentum, travel, and speed, okay? So something is really going to land and it's going to take off, okay? It's really going to accelerate. Um, you've been waiting a long time for something to move. I'm also seeing that you've been um, waiting. You've been... That's, that's interesting. This is really specifically for someone regarding someone's career. Okay, so um, just bear with me. Um, someone here feels like their career was out of their control. Someone here feels like people were making decisions for them, or it was out of their hands, their career advancement, their profession, how they wanted to move. Um, you had a voice, you ha you are the, the star in, of, of this, you are the main attraction of this, but it feels like you didn't have the, um, it, it feels, it, it's not necessarily you gave away your power, but it, it feels like you gave control or you felt like control wasn't yours in a, in a particular time frame of your career or you, the entirety of your, of your career. But I, I feel that shifting. Okay. That's very specifically for someone that is connected to these coins that are falling and something's going to land and it's really going to take off. Um, for others of you, I feel like you've been waiting for something to land. Maybe you've been looking for a job. You've been um, looking for some kind of a promotion. Okay, I am seeing that advancement. I'm seeing that um, get accelerated. Um, okay. Okay, this, okay, so they're bringing me my attention to a reading that we did for you where we were talking about manifestations and how sometimes like the manifestations come, but they go very quickly and they don't really land. They don't really stick or multiply. That's going to change. Okay, because some of you have really been working very hard on law of attraction, on manifestation, maybe even doing spell work, but also changing your perception Okay, connecting yourself to a higher frequency and conscience, consciousness, but also changing your perception because that, that's also the key. I'm seeing someone here like unlock their mind um, within this space. Okay. I'm seeing the letter K. I'm seeing bakery and it was like arched. Okay, now my third eye is vibrating. <laughs> someone is actually really working on their third eye and their crown chakra healing. I feel like you're really working on your core understanding of maybe which path you want to go, or maybe you're trying to receive downloads or information right now about what, where your career is going. Someone here really is focused on their career and their career advancement. 
the, okay, thank you, Spirit. Because what I channeled here for you on May 28th, I heard the stakes have changed. And then I smelt coffee beans right after that. And coffee to me is alertness. So you're being alerted right now that the stakes have changed. And that is this coins that are, that's the coin vision that fell on the ground. Because you're being alerted right now that the stakes have changed for you. That the prize is much bigger. It's true abundance. It's true prosperity. True desires coming into fruition. And like something is like, this is what's at stake. And there's no way that you're missing this. You're being alerted right now that the stakes have changed. I'm also hearing true love. We're, we're going to get into this love as well because this person is also trying to come into the forefront of your consciousness, but you're being alerted of, 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 of a different focus right now from spirit and also from your higher, from your higher self. But you're not really focused on this person the way that you were focused before. You learned through this person what love is not because you know what's at stake is true love. You know exactly what love is. And that's what's also at stake for you. You don't feel the same way about this person. I also heard that you dissected their struggles, their shadows. I'm seeing a lantern. You could be a Virgo or maybe this person is a Virgo, but I'm seeing you shed light on this person's struggles or their their demons, their shadows, their darkness. But you took that lantern away and you have moved it. I'm seeing your focus change. I love that for you. I'm seeing your focus change because when Sagittarius, when you're focused on something, oh, game over. Game over. That's how this person feels. Really interesting. I said it like that. Because your focus is no longer on this person. They feel it's game over. They lost it. You revealed their vulnerability, but you showed them um, strength and vulnerability. Okay, now they're bringing me to this message. Um, uh, a car fanatic or a mechanic. Some of you, um, this person could have been, that could have been their profession. Something about cars. Some of you, you may be experiencing car issues or car problems, troubles. Some of you um, may recently have gone to a mechanic for your car. Some of you are getting a new car. But I'm also seeing distance from this person really interesting. You're distancing yourself from this person. I'm seeing new love within two to five months. Sorry, I don't know if I said the numbers. Um, I got the numbers 337 for you, 828, and there's, okay, that's why I didn't say it now. Thank you, Spirit. Um, March 2025 is also a year that I got very specifically, and the month, March. So I'm seeing new love within two to five months. Some of you recently may have met someone. Some of you are going to be meeting someone within two to five months. It's going to solidify in March of 2025. There's also something in, in 2028. My God, you're really setting up your next cycle right now because that 11 year cycle is that's that's done. You're open. I'm okay. I'm seeing a new doorway open. Some of you open the door a little bit and then it swings right open. It's the way I'm seeing it. Like I'm seeing someone turn the handle. They they open it up just a little bit and that. Okay, I'm seeing a slip a spillage slippage. Oh, there's energies that are creeping out of this doorway somehow. Okay, that's why this person is here. This person's kind of creeping into your consciousness. They may even be creeping into your dreams. They may be like wondering about you, asking about you. I'm seeing the Page of Swords. They may even be like sending monitoring spirits to you to monitor you so that they can get information. This this person could definitely be in the esoterics. They could be getting readings on you. They could be watching readings on you. They could be asking other people about you in your circle. Or, or, or very simply put, you can feel their energy. But they slip through that doorway, the, the doorway to the new. The, you're... Because you're focused on that door. They're trying to come into the line of vision, into line of sight, to where you're focused to. Because you're no longer focused on them. Do, does that make sense? 
So because you're focused on your new beginning, you're setting up your future, you're fixing certain events right now, whether intentionally or unintentionally, okay? You're fixing future events right now in your next cycle. I'm hearing 14 years. Wow, Th this is really fascinating. You have a 14 years year uh, cycle that's starting. Some of you, it could be 13. For a majority of you, it's 14. But see, they crept into, the, they crept in. And so you may have felt like, oh my God, am I starting a new cycle with this person? Is this person coming back? This person's in my dreams. Are we getting a second chance? Why do I feel this way? You may have had these like, you know, um, very sudden emotions or feelings about this person, but they didn't last. Mm -mm. Because the door swung wide open, there's bigger energies that are coming in. That's what's at stake. There's bigger energies that haven't walked through the door yet. And they're big. That's why the door had to be swung all the way open. I think I said everything. I feel a pause right now in the energy. So let me just, let me take advantage of that pause to say my thanks. And then we'll get into the cards. All right. I did say I smell coffee. You're being alerted that the stakes have changed. And I also said there's something about a connection. You could also be alerted about a new connection. Okay. Real, oh, I'm hearing real love. Oh, I'm searching for a real love. Someone can take my heart, baby, real love. Oh. Okay. Let me give my thanks to Spirit and then we'll get into the cards. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High. Thank you to my ancestors, known and unknown. Thank you to my great grandmother Nyla. Thank you to my grandmother Sophia and to my ancestor unknown Nuna. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Chitu. Thank you, Mother Goddess and Mama Ishtar. Thank you for your blessings, your love, your protection, your prosperity, and your grace in this space today. And thank you, Sagittarius, for allowing me to read for you. Amen. I'm seeing the letter K again. I think I said that. Okay, interesting. Some of the messages are being repeated. So sometimes when messages get repeated to me, it's like, oh, I didn't say something. But in this case, I don't feel that way. There's a message that spirit is re repeating to you. I feel like it's this alertness that the stakes have changed. You are not approaching this next cycle of yours that you're setting up very meticulously and strategically. You're not approaching this the same way anymore because you're not the same. You are not your wounds. The weeping wound. Number eight. There's um, also August is important. The Lionsgate portal is important. Wow. Some of you, there is a wound that opened on the Lionsgate portal or something opened last year. Something. Oh, okay. This is important. This is important. There's the key. I, I think I said that, right? Some I saw someone open. Also the door. It says assistance with access. Okay, I don't feel actually guided to that. But that's just confirmation of the key of the door that you have opened. But let's 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 dive through this um this wound of yours for a moment, okay? Something opened last year. I feel like it's probably connected to this person. You dissected their problems. In dissecting this person's problems, in dissecting this person's wounds, and seeing them, you actually were able to see something of yours that was opened or something that cracked open. As you cracked this person open, something inside of you cracked. This person is pivotal. 
on your journey. So we're going back into the past for a moment, okay? Because this is important for you to get clarity on, for you to understand, um, so that you can release it, okay? Because that's what's happening here. Something is being released, and you really need to understand that you are not your wound. I do see that this person did hurt you, but... They hurt you because they cut that wound open. But the wound is not the source of them. They're not the source of that wound. Something else is the source of that wound. This is a wound that has been here for quite some time. It's being presented to me as um, a distant pain. And it's interesting because yesterday I said something to my friend and I said to her, The pain will leave you once it's finished teaching you. This wound is a teacher of yours, Sagittarius, but this is not something that you have, have been wanting to listen to because it's too hard to bear, too hard to feel. If I may, I'm just going to go in a little bit deeper, but I'm going to respect your boundaries. And obviously, it's going to be different for all of you, so I don't know how deep I can actually go in this collective consciousness, but um, I feel it is around desire. Um, let me just put a tarot card on it and tell me about this moon. There's a chariot. There's a car. Resurrection, judgment, rebirth. Okay, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. It's almost like I want to say it, but I don't want to say it. And it's interesting. You have here Archangel Gabriel here with the horn. It's a desire. You, um, okay, we're going back into the past life. That's where we're venturing now. So this wound has a thread that it's like if you, if you follow it, it keeps going and going. Like you're reaching the source of it. And I feel like that's why Archangel Gabriel is here with this resurrection. Because it's being resurrected in this in this lifetime so that it could heal in, in the past life. Because that's the source. For a lot of you, you have attempted something. And you attempted it with your whole heart, and it was taken from you. It was taken from you. It was removed. And it's this like gaping emptiness here that I feel. So to translate that over in this lifetime... You fear getting into things. 
And I feel like that's why this card here, Assistant with Access, because the divine assists you to access things that you desire with no fear that it's going to be taken away from you abruptly. So I feel like your desires are kind of being resurrected right now. Your feelings of what you really want to do or what you want to experience are being resurrected. It's almost like I'm getting the feeling to say to you, Sagittarius, like when you think of what, you, when someone asks you, when the universe asks you, right? Archangel Gabriel right now is asking you, hey, Sagittarius, what do you want to experience? And you're just like, no, I don't want to go there. But the divine is saying, go there. It's, it's, let's, let's, we're assisting you with accessing this desire of yours that has a gaping wound in there. Does that make sense? So in this lifetime, you have a hesitation of starting things. You may start things, but don't finish them. You have a hesitation of getting in really deep. You kind of stay on the surface of things because you know if you were to like put your all into it, you're only going to get disappointed or it's going to be taken away from you. So it's like, let me just, let me just kind of, you know, tread, tread the waters a little bit, but I'm not going to dive deep into something. Does that make sense? So I see this, I see this healing for you. So that's where spirit is. You're being alerted of this too, right? Alertness, the coffee beans, right? Alertness, the horn. Okay. You're being alerted of this as well. You're being alerted to trust. Mistakes have changed. Thank you, Spirit. You are here to be known. So speak and be seen. You're, you know what I heard? You're here to take up some space. But you see that voice? You see this horn? The, the alertness, you hear accountability as well. Presence of absence. Okay, we're getting into... Let me grab one more. I feel this person... See, this person, um, this person oftentimes, like you're focused on your voice, you're focused on this door that you're opening, but this person is feeling your absence right now and they feel their accountability. Look where I, look where I stopped the lantern. This is where I stopped and you have your assistance with access again because you assisted with access you assisted with um them to get access into their shadows into their wounds and the divine is is giving you assistance do you see how that dynamic is working out they feel your absence right now and that's why i was feeling like you're not focused on them you're not fixated on them anymore you're focused on the door your hand is on that handle and you're opening the door and this person is like oh no 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 sagittarius is opening that door no 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 let me let me creep in let me creep in and they did but you're going to swing that door wide open. As soon as that door swings wide open, they can't hold that frequency. They can't hold that frequency. When you speak, they can't hear it. It's too loud for them. It'll, it'll disrupt their energy. It'll be a lot. It'll be like rocks on their back. They can't hold it. 
So when they feel it in that capacity, when they feel like it's so much or too much, this person may have also told you that. They, they told you that you were too much because they couldn't hold you. Instead, what they're feeling right now is their accountability, is the responsibility. There's, there's an, oh, there, so this wound has a lot of layers. Okay, like I know we just went back into the past, but now I feel like we just saw the source of it and we're kind of coming to the surface of the wound. We're kind of coming back to who, who opened it and it was them. They unstitched it or they cut it open or they gravitated towards that wound because that wound was also theirs. That wound, you share a wound. You share access to the same wound. This is a way of, it's not necessarily trauma bond, but I feel like I don't want to say it that way because I'm seeing it so energetically and spiritually and vibrationally that it's like you share access to, to the same wound. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that you've had a past life with this person too. And so when you're gone, you're gone. It's pain from the past life too. Oh, I keep getting like short of breath here. For some of you, um, this person will always be gravitated towards you. Like that's just the truth. You're always going to be gravitated to this person. You're going to feel their absence. They're going to feel you, the absence of you. They're feeling their accountability. They're feeling really confused. They're growing and they're healing. The lantern that you put onto them, right? That's your lantern. I feel like you gave them a piece of yourself and that's the lantern that's on their stomach right now. You gave this person a piece of you. You may feel like that. Maybe you've always said that to this person, like there's a part of me that's always with them. That's that. You know, a lot of people get karmic. Like karmic soulmates are very... Um, intricate. There's, there's, you can't quite really define karmic soulmates. Um, you can, but th there's so many different variables. I know some people who are karmic soulmates that are very happy together and they have families. And I've seen, you know, the other side of the spectrum where karmic soulmates are quite volatile and they're, confusing and they're disturbing I feel like you're making some kind of judgment call right now you're using your voice to decide and declare what you want to do here when it comes to this person because you don't feel the same way about this person anymore you understand the stakes have changed for you. You have true abundance on the line. You have true prosperity on the line. You have something really big, big energies that are coming in. You have true love on the line too because you know that this situation with your karmic soulmate, that has been playing out. That's not what love is. So I feel like you're deciding something, the Eight of Cups, you're deciding something right now. This, this person is pivotal and they're in your energy in this forefront way or they keep kind of creeping in into your forefront because it is to give you some kind of clarity. It is to help you with, with a decision because you're, you are walking through that doorway to your new beginning and you're fixing events right now in the future for yourself to experience. Spirit wants you to take control, to use your voice, to decide. 
what you want to experience. What do you want to fix in place? How do you want to feel? How do you want to be seen? In what kind of way? Because it's going to fall and it's going to land and it's going to accelerate and it's going to take off. It's going to multiply. It's going to grow. And they're saying to trust. To trust that that is not going to be taken away from you. Something is going to land. And you know the stakes have changed. Um, my heart is really heavy right now. So if you feel really emotional in this space, it's okay. Let it out. We're in this together. I'm a Sagittarius too. <laughs> um, yeah, this person's quite pivotal on your journey, okay? Support system number 20. This is, this is a moth, and I've been seeing moths like crazy. I've been obsessed with moths uh, lately, actually, since a moth visited me in my dreams. There's a spirit here um, that is presenting themselves to you. But the, the, um, this is this assistance with access. You're being supported, right? Yeah, thank you, spirit. You're being supported. There's a lot of there's a lot of spirits here supporting you right now. And they're alerting you that the stakes have changed. And they really want you to trust trust your voice, trust in yourself, but trust that it's not going to be taken away from you. What you want to experience, the level of what you want to feel, the desire, the way in which you want to grow, you can set the root. I'm seeing an anchor. You can anchor. You're being supported. This, again. Do you remember this? I was like... People are not going to be invited to that party. Hit your target. Because this is someone in the way, but you hit your target anyway. Anyway, you hit your target anyway. Anyway, the wind blows. I just heard you hit, you hit your target with or without them. This is with or without them. With their support, without their support. There's someone here that you're going to hit your target with or without them. You're going to get your abundance with or without them because you know exactly what's at stake. You're going to have true love with or without them. You're going to have true abundance with or without them. That's what this is. You have shifted a lot since your last reading and your last reading was like two months ago. You're shifting very quickly, you're moving very quickly, you're healing very quickly, you're speaking a lot clearly. With or without them, you're going to hit your target. With or without them, any way, any way the wind blows, I'm telling you, you're making a decision right now of your future, fix, you're fixing future events right now. And that's why Spirit is saying it's any way the wind blows, it's whatever you want. What do you want to experience? Any way the wind blows. Can we look at these possibilities, spirit? What else? <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's just a perfect storm. Any way the wind blows, it's just, it's a perfect storm. You, This is you right now. You're transmuting pain. It, it, it's the same energy. There's something about four months. Sorry, hold on. Did I say this? I don't know if I did. 
There's something about four months. Okay. Four months of four months of dark night of the soul, four months of this gaping, weeping wound, four months of darkness, four months of maybe fixated on this person or like focused on this person or maybe you because that's not a long time it's also 1220 and I'm hearing 1222 as well sorry give me a moment because they're showing me that door and this person creeping into your focus as you hit your target with or without them like whether they're in your way or not like you're you're there's a Taurus energy as well within you there's something about four months what is this four months it's a short period of time that you may have focused on this person while they crept through as you opened the doorway to your new beginning so you may have had like a small period of time where you were focused on this person or fixated on this person or maybe you had this like <gasps> surge of energy where you were experiencing them and you're just like, is, are they coming back? Are we doing this again? Do I have feelings? Like you were trying to process why you were feeling this person. But it was like for four months. All the while this was happening, there was a, there was a perfect storm brewing. See, this is you, the courage to step into life. There's something, oh my God, there's something here that just came through. There's something here that this person thinks that they can't do without you, but you know you can do without them. I don't need to say that again. I know that's going to hit. Is there anything else here? And then we're going to shift. I want to know. I want to know a little bit about these potential possibilities or the things that you're fixing in in your future right now. Teachability. Yeah, you've learned. There's 28. And I said there's something about 2028. And here they have opportunity. And there's 428. That's April. You do have here 444. There's something about Taurus season that just passed. You learned a lot in that Taurus season, or you were very like fixed in your lessons. But again, I was saying something about four months. Four months with this, okay, four months feeling this person's energy. I'm also getting four directions, right? Any way the wind blows, northwest, south, north, what? Northwest, southeast, four directions, four different opportunities, four different possibilities, four different pathways, which really are like they can multiply and become infinite pathways into like some kind of perfect storm. That's why you have here the lost compass, like you're just spinning the dial and it can be like, again, any way the wind blows. Okay, let's get into this opportunity. Um, spirit is giving you some kind of divine sight, divine perception into the opportunities that you are fixing right now in your future okay there's some kind of opportunity right now that is getting fixed into your future and you're getting a divine sight you're getting divine perception divine insight thank you spirit into it it's going to be an opportunity for some of you to teach some of you are teachers some of you um Some of you, again, connected to your previous reading, the divine was taking its time with you. There's time here that has been taken with this opportunity. 
you've been waiting a long time for this. That's why like with or without them, like you're, you're hitting that, you're hitting that target with or without this person. You're going to see 444 like crazy when these opportunities or a very specific opportunity is going to land. And I did say that something is going to land some, an opportunity is going to land. Okay. I want to get some specifics if I can. Because this is coming in fast. I just saw the door swing wide the fuck open because, excuse my language, but also that's yeah, that's what I feel. There are big opportunities. That's a door. That's what's at stake. And that's why with or without them, with or without their support, with or without their presence in your life, with or without them, you know what's at stake. You can feel it. You can feel the storm brewing. I kid you. I kid you fucking not. There you go. There you go. I saw them falling. I saw them falling. Some of you, you're going to see coins on the ground. That is a confirmation for you that... opportunities are coming in i'm telling you this is what's at stake you're being alerted that the stakes have changed because you're about to experience true abundance and true love true prosperity true support it's not fragmented anymore it's not fragmented anymore it's not fragmented abundance it's not fragmented love it's not fragmented support it's not conditional some of you have experienced abundance in that way where it was fragmented again it comes and it goes no you're about to experience it in influx and in flow and in many different forms some of you you're going to get abundance in multiple ways Okay, so some of you are really, you're building passive income or you are building multiple stream, streams of income. Congratulations. Sensitivity. Okay, that ring though. Clarity. Okay, there's, um, again, I'm seeing lightning. Lightning here on these two cards. So again, um, there's clarity here that you're receiving. You're going to feel very sensitive to something or very sensitive to someone. And that is going to be the clarity because you're going to feel very sensitive to it. That's the clarity. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I feel like some of you will, will understand that. That's a gift of yours. Someone here has a gift of sensitivity. There's a reason why I'm holding my hands this way. This is also this love. It's a new love within two to five months. Something's going to solidify March of 2025. Oh, wow. I just heard a wait what what did i hear a lucky lucky bond luck lucky bond let me get one more i feel like we're shifting into love someone's gonna be very sensitive this is a new love this is new love i feel like um observation wanted to come out but it didn't aura Now my left eye is getting weird. Someone has a sensitivity in their left eye or your eyes are very sensitive to light. Photosynth what is that? Photosensitivity or something like that. You're going to meet someone who's very sensitive to you. 
like right off the bat they're very sensitive to you you know what i just saw i saw someone here with um holding the ring like this and then they open it up that's what i'm seeing here so there's someone here that knows that you're their person but they don't say it immediately yeah see they're very certain yeah certainty they have a certainty about you um it, like almost immediately because they feel very sensitive to you like almost immediately upon contact or communication but also this connection is very lucky like you are both very lucky individuals or something like that they may call you your lucky charm I can feel a card in here so just give me a moment there's a message no 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 we're not doing that thank you flowers it says fickle see something is very sensitive okay something is very fragile confirmation wow shooting star Spirit is definitely confirming this message right now. Some of you, you're going to get a confirmation of this new love. Let me get deeper in that. Hold on. This connection is very sensitive. There's something very sensitive about this, this new love. Let me get into the, let me get into the cards. Um, where do, do I, where do I want to go? Um, I'm going to get into the tarot, but let me just pull one oracle card on this sensitivity. It's, it's fragile. Not in the way of like fragile like it's gonna break or it's like easy I um maybe like delicate delicate maybe you're very delicate to them so they know that they have to be very sensitive with you because you're delicate you're fragile but not in a bad way look where I stop move like I don't want to I don't, I don't want to say that and it be misinterpreted Because they know that you just healed from something. They're very sensitive to your wounds. They're very sensitive. <sighs> okay, hold on. Can you tell me about this new love within two to five months? Or for some of you, you may have already met this person. Observe again. And I said that. I said that the observation card, it caught my attention and it didn't come out, but it came out here. So this, this to me is, is a spirit con sending confirmations right now that they're observing you and they're taking notice that they need to approach you with sensitivity. This person is, is, is gonna, um, maybe send you flowers or give you flowers but they're observing you they're observing you strengthening bonds yeah 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 um one two one 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 twelve one sorry one twelve one two one is a angel number you may start seeing this when it comes to this person yeah this person is observing you so you, so that the bond can strengthen do you see what i mean like i feel like it starts off very delicate very fragile um but this person is approaching you with sensitivity and observing you so that the bond can strengthen that's what this person wants they want to strengthen the bond okay one more and then we'll get into the tarot yeah sadness and isolation that's why they're very sensitive or um to you 
because they can feel your sadness, right? And I mentioned that they can almost like see your wounds or the wounds that you have healed. Um, because our wounds leave residuals, whether they're healed or not, there's still this like energy that emanates from them, whether they're active or not active, healed or not healed, there's, there's still, um, an energy there that you can feel. And this person is sensitive to that because you have a, you have a connection, a soul connection with, with this person. You tend to also isolate from this person. This could also be them, so take it as it resonates, but I feel like this is more so you that I'm picking up on. You tend to isolate from this person, or you just tend to isolate in general, okay? Um, yeah, let's use these. Do I want to use these cards? Yes, I do. Okay, let's get some um, more energies on this connection. shuffle Sagittarius and love Sagittarius and love oh, two of cups this is it yeah this is it this is what we feel two of cups with the queen of cups here at the bottom I don't know if like, if okay, upon meeting this person or for some of you who have already met this person, you're going to feel a very strong sensitivity as well to this person. It's not just they're sensitive, they're sensitive to you and your needs and they're approaching you with like caution because you're delicate, but even here with the flowers that are intertwining at the stems because that's how you strengthen the bond one stem if you bind it with another stem it's thicker so they're really working on strengthening the bond with you but i feel like as soon as you connect with them like you have this like love for them and you may not know exactly where it's coming from and you you're gonna get scared you're gonna isolate And you're going to observe them just as much as they observe you. It's very much mutual. It's very much mirroring as well. See, I said March of 2025. You do have here three. March. Something popped out, popped back in. The Ten of Cups. The Fool popped out, popped back in. So there is some, yeah, see, there's hesitancy here in the beginning. Wheel of Fortune. Oh. <laughs> it's going to move. And I did, I think I did see or say the Page of Swords. Observation. Learning. Curiosity. They're very curious about you. If you just met this person, you may be feeling all of this right now. You may not know exactly where it's going to go, but Spirit is saying like there's a positive direction that this connection is going but this person is also destined to be on your path king of pentacles wow this person is working their way up i'm seeing this person um yeah oh, remember i said you guys are a lucky like you're lucky together or like you you may just be very two lucky people i'm seeing that here this could be also like a power couple. Someone's going to also make some kind of power move. You do have your chance that's staring at me. Someone's going to take a chance, but someone's going to make a power move. In their career. Sorry, that message is, is, is coming through. Let me talk about that. It could be this person that's making a power move in their career, but I also see you could, you may be doing that. Or the both of you are like really power hungry. Not in a not in a bad way, but like you you you're really seeking something out. Yeah. The Emperor power move. That's why I'm feeling that. 
but this person is work, working their way up. They also may be like a high stature. They may be a person of authority, CEO, businessman, businesswoman. Um, they really work their way up in their company. Um, they may own their own. Okay, I'm hearing multiple businesses. This person very stable. There's a lot of abundance between the both of you and the two of you together, you're going to create more abundance. The Empress, yep. Yeah. More abundance. I mean, the Empress is the embodiment of abundance and true prosperity. This is also what's at stake. You know, like a person, if you are single right now, you're not talking to anybody, but you feel this, this new love coming, you feel this coming for you, you're manifesting it, you're strengthening yourself to receive this because it does take energy in receiving. It does. It really does. It doesn't get talked about often, but receiving takes a lot. Receiving takes a lot of energy. I feel like you know that this is what's at stake for you, this true love. A person like this, someone who sees you, who wants to grow with you, who feels abundant because you feel abundant. True love is at stake. See, I mentioned you're being alerted of the stakes that have changed and you're also being alerted of the connection. That's what you feel. That's who, that's what you feel inside of you right now. Seven of Cups. Okay, upon meeting this person, there's going to be a lot of fantasy. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles there. Ten of Pentacles underneath that. Wow. So this has long-term potential. Okay. Yes. Wow, Six of Wands. Sorry about that noise. There's construction going on around. Um, this person could be in the public eye. You do have here the Six of Wands and King of Pentacles. This person could be in the public eye. They could be famous. I am so sorry. Sorry about that. I had to wait until that noise stopped because it was just way too annoying um and very distracting it almost felt as if like should i not be venturing into this new love into this connection any further because i you know me like i i want to dive deep into things i want to know i want to help as much as i can and it almost felt as if like well maybe i'm not supposed to because the, the distraction um the noise felt very like divinely timed and we did have um the wheel of fortune sorry i even like packed away my cards because i'm like do i want to continue and i'm like i kind of i kind of do just a little bit you do have that perfect timing so that noise felt very perfectly timed but what i do i stopped at um just advising um or sending out the message advising that that this person may be in the public eye, this, this person may be famous. And I remembered this came out in your previous reading as well. Um, I feel that as well here, um, especially with that Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles, okay? But what I did also mention is that there's a lot of fantasy when it comes to this connection. So again, you may know this person, you may recently have met them, you may be planning to me this all this just all of a sudden shifted into some kind of planning or some kind of fantasy to plan or fantasy to meet this could also be sexual fantasies um that i feel as well as soon as you connect with this person there's going to be a lot of fantasies that um abrupt within you a lot of desires that come to life that you do want to explore and this is connected to that weeping wound that we talked about where there's like this fear of diving deep really deep into things you stay on the surface because you don't want to get hurt you don't want something taken away from you so this person may trigger that but you have 
um, a higher conscious understanding here with the seven of cups of that wound and so I feel like that's why this person is very delicate towards you and they're very sensitive towards you because they feel your sensitivities to diving in really deep okay so there's gonna be some fantasies that come out and now there's someone vacuuming like you know what I feel like I'm gonna stop here this is the second time so I love you guys. I'm going to take this as a sign from spirit that I'm not supposed to venture in any further through the veil um, when it comes to this connection. So I hope that, I, you know, I don't even hope. I do trust that I delivered what I needed to deliver when it comes to this new love. Um, I'm going to park it here and I'm sure this energy will come through in your next reading. Thank you guys. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye.